G'day guys, Emton Tam here. Today we're going to learn about render targets and why it matters to you. Now, render targets is very useful. What is a render target? Well, I'll show you. Now, in this OBJ, this is my OBJ scene that I'm working on at the moment, uh, just for screwing around and just getting my portfolio up out there. So this is my OBJ file. This is the one. This is the OBJ that I imported in. And as you can see, um, it, this is a preview-based uh, view of it. Um, it's an indirect lighting. Um, all the uh, it's indirect lighting. It's at a very low resolution. It's very basic, and all the textures are assigned to this. What render target is is pretty much a <laughs> different well I'll show you. I have four total render targets sun sky, room light, flash, lamp. Now what each of these are it has its own separate camera settings to it, it has its own separate environment to it, it has its own separate um, resolution and render kernel. So this is the sun sky render target node. You can change the resolution to whatever you want. So as you can see, the sun sky is presets on. Uh, it has a it has its own camera imager, camera response, thin lens. Let's just turn this texture down, this lighting emitting down. So that's my sun sky preset. The next thing I have is my room light. Now what my room light does is that it turns off the sun sky preset and I just need to turn my light on so this is my room light, oh hang on my room light's different, see I think what they should do somehow is to somehow change your different material options because my room light is this this is my room light settings setting so that sun sky room light now my flash is um, so that's my room there's a light on the room my def my different one is a flash version my flash is let's turn this off and let's turn flash on as you can see it has a flash. Um, to make it much more better I'm going to change the camera, position, the camera position for each one. So for the sun sky I'm going to zoom it a bit. Now I'm also going to put some depth of field. And I'm going to focus that on the... Now my room light as you can see it's different. My room light will be The camera position for my room lights will be so sun sky and my room lights. So that's me showing you with the pretty much build stuff, everything. But I want to show you, I'm going to show you how to actually set your scene out with it because there's a lot of nodes, a lot of lines going everywhere. And yeah, so I'm just going to pause the render. This is uh this is going to be a plain this is gonna be a preview based OBJ. So now let's just turn off the vignetting. So it's preview. Alright, low resolution, indirect lighting, etc. So right click, add, we're going to pick render targets. Now we're gonna click on this and we're going to select Sun Sky. Now, we're going to move this sun sky down here, all the way down. Now, with the sun sky, we are now going to add thin lens file. No, go to right click, add thin lens, and call this uh, camera angle, and attach that to the green circle. We are then going to add resolution, file, add, no, sorry for file, right click, add values, 
int resolution, place that here, add it to the yellow circle, file add, and then we're going to add a uh, environments, yes of course, environments, file add environments, and we're going to add a daylight. Uh, right click add and we're going to also create a imager yep file right click add I can't saying file right click add images camera put that there and last but not least a the rendering kernel we're just gonna we're gonna leave the rendering kernel for now, because I want all of it to be in uh, direct lighting mode. So now we have all of our separate camera, um, all of our separate stuff. So we're now going to click on the OBJ, the circle under the OBJ. We're going to put it to the Sun Sky presets. Now, if you click on the Sun Sky, your camera position has now moved. You now have to realign your camera position. That means you also have to change your FOV, field of view. Hopefully that's right. Also change your resolution to something that's not so retarded. Alright, now we're going to put this, we're going to give it a low, give it something like that. Also turn off your Turn off the room light, it's distracting. So, let's click on the sun sky. Now we're going to click on the daylight environment and we're going to change the sun position. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so that is the sun sky and let's just change the render kernel to half tracing. No PMC, I mean. Alright, so we have our one Sun Sky preset. But alright, well that's cool. Now what? Well you can also change the camera imaging so just pause this. Now let's change the exposure, the F stop and the ISO uh, vegetating put it all the way full saturation put a bit more up hot pixel put it around here and let's change the camera response the camera response to something bits David Fincher ish that's pretty good all right so now we have our one Sun Sky preset. So this, if we play it, this is the preview, our preview based mesh. And if we click down here, this is our full Sun Sky render target node with all of our parameters. Now let's add a different one. Let's add a close up of the uh, dresser. So we'll do the same. Right click, add, render target, place it down here. I call this um, the uh, dresser close up. Uh, and add all of your, add your camera thin lens, add your int resolution. and then your uh, environment because we're going to choose a textured environment because we're going to set the the world to a, to black we are then going to go to a camera and put that down here okay so now we're going to link our render target node to the OBJ click on this, click play and as again we um, the camera position has changed 
Uh, let's just change the uh, kernel to correct lighting. And let's just change the resolution to a low one for now. Okay, so now we have to let's align this around here. Now we need to go to the world settings, turn it to a black. I mean, not yet. We're gonna have to go to a uh, lamp, turn the power up. And let's just capture this out here. Change about the that's good. Okay, now go to the world settings, turn it all the way down. Go to the render kernel, put it to PMC. And that's going to render out. Now also change the resolution to something a bit more high. About there. And go to your camera imager, put the hot pixel remover up. That's going to take some time. So I'll just pause this. And yeah, let's just change the exposure. You can't really change anything. So that's pretty much render targets. It's pretty much setting up your own um, customer, your multiple camera views in your um, scene. Unfortunately, it doesn't change the material settings. You're going to have to sh make your own um, OSC files for that. But it's extremely handy, very easy, and um, it can help you in um, client-based work. Hope you've enjoyed it.